Hi, we are Jacqueline and Joe, and this is I Run I Hike I Camp. And for this week's video, we've actually hired a camper van to check it out. Come with me and I'll show you a walk around. So guys, this is the Fiat Ducati base camper van. So it's made by Weinsberg, and we hired it from Indy Campers. It's a 2011. Okay, and just on the side of your basic front van, side mirror. So this is your fuel, just here, and that's a lockable cap, and you have your Ad Blue as well for your environmental reasons. Back here then is your flue for your heating. It's your for onto your Truma water heater system inside, so it's for the heating and for heating the water. <coughs> Back in here then is your cassette toilet. So that's a lockable. So you stick in the key there, turn it, and then you press the two. Oh, I had it locked. Now. <laughs> you wanted to edit that. So that's your cassette toilet. So that's neat. Pull it. Out comes your cassette. Back in, it's locked. And so that is. Back here then for your electric hookup. So when you're on site or have electric, pop in there, it's the same as with Tony, no different. That's just clips on there, spin around to the back. <coughs> then you get those lovely views and you don't have doggies. And run to your bed. Some people just want to be out and about <laughs> and give out. So guys, as you can see underneath here, underneath the bed, there's lots of storage space. Um, so we have all our bags and our dirty laundry, our hiking boots, our, um, our chairs our city, for chairs for sitting out. We also brought a toolbox for just in case. And this is your gas locker. So you have two bottles of gas and your electric cable is in here as well for your, your hookup. I don't think there's nothing else in there, not really. Oh, this, in here then is where your um, your water tank is. So it's just your 100 litres water. That's where your actual tank is. And your storage or your fill point is outside. See the milk doggies. <coughs> and again, this is lockable. So you just pin your key, turn your cap, and stick in your hose and fill. Now the one thing which water tank if you overfill there is a little release valve inside so lift up your bed and that off that other than that your tank will or will kind of overflow a bit into your into your um livable area like. so just be conscious of that don't overfill ever overfill any of your water tanks it's very important and then that's just your your access door in and more than likely better two dots again so you have your Typical feet to carry dash. So you have your multi steer, multi function steering wheel. So you have your volume for your radio. You have your tuner stations. Probably Bluetooth for your phone. We didn't check it into it. You have fan. Your typical fan for Windows feet. You have aircon on that switch. Your radio. Simple enough. You have two cup holders here and here. And just when I see the phone now, we have this little gadget here that pops up. You pull her down here to the side, pop in your phone here, lock it into place, and that's as secure as could be, so you can have your Google Maps on that if you wanted that as well. Just over here on the door then you have your electric mirrors and your electric windows. Your handbrake is actually down here on the right hand side, which is typical for your Vitacati. And just over the other door, obviously you have a bottle holder on, down on the door. So if you bottle of water, you have storage in here. And you have another pocket storage up here on top as well. And just on 
And then of course your two captain's chairs. Swivel around, which bring you into the main living dining area. And me. So I suppose just for the rest of the technical stuff, and you have your control panel here. So obviously when you have electric hookup outside, first of all you turn on your control panel there. Uh, you want water pump to work, you press that one, that will give you water in your tap and work for your shower as well. Uh, over here we have how much water you've left in your tank and we have a 100 litre water tank on board. This is just to show you what battery power you have actually in the engine battery and this one up here then shows you what uh, power you've left in your leisure battery. So that's those. Here then is your Truma water heater and the heating for the van, of the, of the living space of the van as well. So if you can see there's a little notch here, so that's on zero. That turns up to 40 or up to 60 for the water. Down here, when you turn down to here, you have just for the fan heating alone for the living space. Down here then, if you turn it down here, you can turn on the actual fan and you have the water going on at the same time. Takes roughly about 45 minutes. They were kind of saying to us for hot water, but it was cold this morning and I turned it on in about half an hour. I had enough water, plenty of hot water for a shower. Now when you turn it on, this you have five, four, three, two, one, or one. That's your level of heat that you want to turn up. On the other side then you have here, your little orange like flashes. And when the, the fan kicks in or the Truma heater kicks in, this will just stay orange. So the moment we have the gas turned off, that's why that's flashing, so it's not kicking in. And turn it off then when you're finished. Um, so, uh, so this is the living area. Um, firstly, then I'm going to show you over the cab area, the storage. So up here, there's lots of extra storage. We have here, we have the blinds for um, the two doors and the um, windscreen. So we're going to show you how that goes up later. And for the rest of it, then what we had here was we had laptops, um, hats, jumpers, coats, that kind of thing, stuff that, that we, we kind of needed on a regular basis. So then I'm going to show you the dinette area. So again, nice little table and the table actually moves back and forth, which is really handy. Um, especially when we're moving or if we're eating or anything like that. So you can see Alfie is kind of keeping the, the seats nice and warm. There's two seat belts here as well because it's a four berth. Two seat belts here and then the um, click things down here to click in your seat belts. Overhead here we have um, touch lights, two touch lights. And up here we have storage space. So this is where we have clothes. Um, or I have runners on that side. Lots of storage space there. Also, there's two extra pieces of storage here where we just have hats and running stuff again. Um, also, um, we have fly screen here, um, like that. And also the blackout blinds for privacy and for at night. So that brings us over then to the kitchen area. So again, we have touch, screen, touch lights over the sink and the kitchen area. These are also lights for um, the van. So that it'll be that light and another light down here. This light then is for the toilet, which I'm going to show you in a minute. We have a two prong um, outlet there and also uh, one for a cigarette lighter. On top here, uh, we have more storage here on top, and here we have put our Delft um, and our cups and coffee maker and teapot and that kind of thing. So lots of space up there. Also, I just want to bring you around the corner, and uh, we have another little shelf here where we have our spices and pepper, salt, that kind of thing. There, so that's a nice little area there. So then down to the kitchen workspace. So we have a two gas uh, ring cooker 
um, with um, um, a glass down top, glass over it that you can work on when it's not used. Also, we have the sink area um, with the um, the tap goes up and down, and the tap also goes back and forth like that. And then we have um, hot and cold water in it as well. So there you should be another top down over here, like like what's here. But I'll show you that in the next uh, slide, so you can see what happened there. Also, down here, so we have two drawers and then another storage unit down here. So in here, we have space for um, all our cutlery, um, all our bits and bobs and pieces. And then down here, we have these little locks that's on all of um, the drawers. So you, um, to make sure that they don't um, pop out when, when we're driving. Um, and then this one down here, we have some of our um, washing stuff, etc. And also over on this side, then we just have nuts and sugar and coffee and all that other kind of stuff that we need. And then down here, we have, this is where I have put um, our pots and pans, chopping board, and of course our Ridge Monkey. While we're down here, um, this is where the gas is. So this is how you turn it off and on down here. And so this gas is for your hob and also for your heating. So there are seven little outlets here uh, for your heating all around the van. So um, the heating is actually very good in this van. So that brings you on then to the fridge. So over the fridge, we have um, extra storage then for over the fridge. And this fridge is a fridge freezer. We think it's about 120 liters. Um, so again, lots of storage here for, we've been in this van for two weeks. And we've had loads and loads of, um, we had no problem with storage whatsoever with regards to food or anything like that. And then down here, we have another storage area down here. And this is the wardrobe. At the moment now, we just have like the doggy stuff and that in it. But it's a wardrobe, there's stuff, there's um, a pole there for hanging our clothes. So that brings us then into the bathroom area. So in the bathroom area, it's a nice size bathroom area. Uh, so you have a cassette toilet, which turns, which gives you extra room then when you're having a shower. Again, it's got plenty of, it's got a, a flushing facility here, but it also has plenty of um, storage here again. I just have makeup and stuff like that um, in this side. And down this side then, you have more storage area down this side, where we just have our washing um, stuff in that side. Also, there is more storage area here and here and here, which is great. It has two kind of like sink areas, this one uh, for washing your hands, etc. And it also has a tap. Um, so the tap slash shower comes out like that and hangs up like that. What we also did on our travels was we had, when we were in the sea, we also put it out the window. So we were able to use it um, and have a shower outside. It all, it's um, cold and hot water. Um, it also has extra hanging space here. At the moment, what we have here is just coats. Um, they were kind of wet coats, so we're just kind of drying them off there and towels which were kind of just hanging up um, and drying there too. So 
So from the toilet then, and that, that brings us straight back to the bed, which is a double bed. And the, they also have this um, area here where you have two hangers for your coats or your hats or whatever. Um, and so we, I will bring you back onto the bed. So the bed area, like I said, it's a double bed. Um, and here, so there is place to put down another mattress here on top and you have clips then to clip in the other mattresses there on top. There's also little pocket stuff here uh, for all your bits and bobs. There's also um, lights um, and also um, a plug there to plug in your phones, your laptop etc. So that's actually loads of space here. Just over there also, there's another plug there too. Um, up there we have um, the radio, which comes from the radio on the front of the van and it um, you can hear it back here as well. On top then we have um, a skylight. So it has fly nets and a blackout screen also. So if you want to, just for extra storage, if you had a bike or whatever with you, and you want to travel at night, so this folds, and obviously take up the seats, this folds up onto that, this slides up then if you want to have a walk through, and you can put in your bike, storage if you want, and you put guys here and here. So for your blinds, first of all, there's just they fold up. There's obviously some serious creasing put into these before they're let out. They've never lost their face for the week we've had it, and this is a higher van, so I'm presuming a lot of people have used them. So again, you have a little button clip in here. You have another button clip down there. After that, your little magnets, and as you can see, they're pretty strong. So that one clips on there, and you hear this one clips on there, and there's one clips on here, and just shoving that there. And that's obviously clipped in there. And as in all fairness, we've gone to bed early nights, we've woke up in the morning with bright daylight and we've still not known what a time it is because the van is completely blacked out. That's both roof lights, front uh, front shades, everything. Cannot say there's any light coming in. It's and including the skylights. So at night for putting on the blinds, the only thing you have to do is just put back down the phone holder and there's little button fasteners that clip on there there's three on each side and that clips on there i'm just going to show them this side joe the little fasteners so they're the little fasteners either side there's three on each side now the good thing about these compared to your full slide over blinds we don't have to touch the sat nav at night we can leave whatever's onto the front so you put back your visor there's a little slot there that fits over into the visor area put back in your visor um, if it was night just put that up like that that goes around and fasten on the other side that one goes on there and your three buttons on again and back across for watching our van tour and um, as we said at the beginning of the video we hired this camper van for two weeks from indie campers so in our next episode you'll see what the cost was for the renting cost of fuel cost of water just a couple of little bits of pieces as well of the total cost um of the trip but definitely would be something we would say to anyone to go ahead. do it if do you're it. if you're Anyway, wondering about should you or shouldn't you hire a camper van and to see what it's like, it's definitely it's worth doing. But watch Do for the next video for the costumes. Try before you buy. Um, and also as well, we're going to give you a little bit of, of our own opinions on what we found um, about road tripping around Ireland. So, see you on the next episode. Say bye, Alfie. See you then. Are you going to be in the next one? Are you coming again? <laughs> See you later. See you later, lads. <laughs>